I make what I call hosted occasions. I'm a dancer, choreographer, and artist. And the kind of work that I make is um, an experience for gathering and bringing people together in an immersive environment that addresses all of the senses. The occasions come out of, I think, a long process of research and work that I've done as a dancer and as a choreographer. I spent many, many years trying to figure out how to arrive at another kind of format where dance could be experienced in a more sensual, more embodied way, which is a bit closer to what I feel is actually the experience of dancing. And I think this is kind of what led me down the path of eliminating any idea of a stage and creating these immersive environments uh, where the single performer in this case um, moves around the space and is actually very close and physically close uh, to the visitors. The visitor is uh, welcomed into the space as a participant, uh, but there's lots of ways of participating inside of the occasions. There's not an um, explicit demand uh, for participation. You can come and go as you please. You can be focused for a moment on maybe what I'm speaking or saying or singing. And in another moment, you can be speaking and having a conversation with your friend. So it has this flexibility to it, which I think is, is the way that I would like to experience uh, live art, I think, that it, that it can breathe and that it can respond. Choreography for me has become almost a mode of, of also being and seeing the world. Um, it's about, you know, arranging things in space and time, and that can be uh, visitors, that can be plant life, that can be furniture, that can be smells. Um, every social situation or every situation we're in is a kind of arrangement of things and trying to take care of that arrangement and put care and put love into that arrangement is sort of how I define choreography. There is at the same time inside of this arranging, which is one element of the choreography, there is my own dancing presence and my own body dancing in the space. And that brings a kind of energy and also shapes the energy of the situation. The fact that I try to create with this environment an immersive place, people come together, they share an experience, and that creates a kind of social bond. That's some kind of um, necessary exercise, perhaps, for if we're going to approach uh, peace. I think that there are bodily practices like dance and like loving someone. Uh, these bodily practices can kind of enrich one's life and could also, you know, sort of bring us maybe towards this notion of peace and what it means to actually practice that.